Hi, I'm Jed. And I'm Taylor. And we're at Cook Culture. So today I wanted to talk to you about something really quite cool. Uh, we've shown off the Pizziolo pizza oven many times. It makes the absolute best at home Pizziolo style pizza. So like, a, like what a forno would do. You can get this thing up to 700, 800 degrees and it makes pizza in two minutes, which is just stunning. But what we're doing today is that you can actually see the pizza settings underneath here, all the different types of pizza, up to the wood-fired pizza that's that right here, but, and then a timer how long you make the pizza for. But it also comes with this really cool little magnetic piece that goes over top that helps you understand what the settings are for uh, the, the oven itself. So what we're gonna do today, which is really, really cool, is we're gonna do something super simple. It's not that cool in theory, but it's really cool when you use it, this unit, is that we're gonna cut up some potatoes and roast them. So really simple, easy, roast potatoes, but it's how we've found this thing makes roast potatoes, which is just awesome. So the type of heat, the size of the way in which this oven works, the small little um, compact. compact area really lends to amazing potatoes. So that's what we're gonna do today. So, okay, so we've got the potatoes all cut to a good size. We've got the garlic in there. Do you wanna crush it? Yes. So we're gonna crush the garlic. And then what I end up doing is just use the back of your knife and just cut the garlic off and then put your next clove in. And actually here, take two cloves. Okay. Oh. That one's up. Yeah, there you go. You got it? My hand? Your okay. daddy power. Two. Two. There we go. Okay, we're gonna grab the back. Throw that in there. Some salt. We're gonna put, depending on how you like your salt, we're gonna put about a three quarters of a teaspoon on there. Put maybe a teaspoon, not a lot of oil. You really don't need much oil, just a little bit. And then we'll make sure that everything is coated. If you don't use oil, or if you don't use salt for that matter too, but if you don't use oil, a uh, little apple cider vinegar is really fantastic. So this unit, the Breville pizza oven, comes with this dish. So this is a carbon steel dish, which is great. They don't use nonstick on here. Uh, mostly for, I think they would just peel the nonstick off of it with the type of heat that this thing makes. They just couldn't put a nonstick pan in this oven, which is great. If we're anti nonstick, this is an absolutely fantastic pan. It works beautifully. And uh, so it works really, really well for us. So I've got those well coated. Um, also, if you, what I was gonna say, if you don't use salt, just use a lot of herbs, right? A lot of, a lot of spices from different places, but um, nice. That's a great question. So another thing that we found that's really great with this for the results that you're gonna see is the time. So I usually would cook potatoes like this, especially that some of them are a little larger for about 40 minutes at 350, 375 in a regular oven. I've got this guy here set at 400 and I'm gonna check them in about 15 and mostly they're done in around 20. So you wanna grab the pan, you got it. There you go, in it goes. So the pan is in, and that little hook comes right off, which is really fantastic. So this doesn't get warm. And that doesn't get warm. So this is a great feature. I really like this, and would actually like that in a lot of cookware. You can find this sometimes on boat cookware, um, where you get like all your little vessels, and you have different handles that clip on, which is really neat. So that's great, we got that in there, and we'll check it in 15 minutes. So we have left these guys in. We did 15 minutes, I checked them, they were good. Then we went to 20 minutes and they were looking awesome. So you wanna open them up there, sir? I left them in for 25 minutes and they are looking absolutely amazing. I'm gonna move so you have a place to put them. That's great, how about that hot mitt on the countertop? So wood countertop, good to have some sort of insulating pad. So those guys are looking Absolutely amazing. Perfect tenderness. 
I find that they don't get in here for whatever reason, either keeping the moisture in, I'm not 100% sure why, but they get nice and tender, but wonderfully browned. I've even cooked them a little bit further than this and they get even more brown, but don't seem to get overly squishy on the inside. Cool. What do you think? I think we should wait for them to cool. You think we should wait for them to cool? I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it, I think. Here, and here, here's a, here's a little one. Okay, so, they're pretty hot. Uh, oh, 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 mmm. Yeah, so, how is it? Hot. Really hot. Really, really hot. But, wonderfully waxy, um, in a good way. Um, nice and dense, great crunch, amazing developed flavor. So for me, I'm a bit of a potato freak when it comes to roasted potatoes. These are done perfectly. These are as good as I've ever been able to make them. I think you can have more salt. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, work perfectly in here. So best results I've ever had using the Breville Piciolo as a potato roaster. So next thing I'm gonna- well, my, um, my last one was just really small, so it didn't have enough uh, didn't have enough salt. You have enough salt on that one? Okay, good. So the next thing I'm gonna try is carrots and beets and see how the caramelization, a lot more sugars and beets. It's gonna be interesting to see how that's gonna work in this unit. So that's uh, gonna be my next experiment. So I hope this works for you. You know, if you have a pizzolo or have some ability to get yourself your hands on using one, it's an amazing way to make roasted potatoes. Okay, so we decided to do the carrot and beet in the pizziolo at the beach. So we're camping right now and we brought our pizziolo with us because it's an amazing tool to have. And so my son and I, Taylor, did the carrot and beet. And things are looking absolutely amazing. So they've taken a little bit longer than potatoes. We had it in for about half an hour but they are looking fantastic. So I'd say all in all, the pizziolo does the potato and the beets and the carrots perfectly.